So recently, the deadline for the NCS Gauntlet finally came, and wow, we have seen some amazing entries. Like, I swear, I've seen some of the best levels ever here. Like, recently, we've been having daily legendaries, and sometimes even two legendaries every day. It's been crazy. But yeah, just after seeing so many good levels, I was kind of thinking, what are actually my favorite ones? This is pretty hard to decide just because there's so many good ones, so I dug through some of Viperin's videos of all the entries, and after some time, I've decided on 10 that I can say are my favorite. And remember, this video is just my opinion. It's completely fine if you completely disagree with everything I say. And if there's any levels that you think I should have included here that I didn't include, let me know in the comments. But anyways, let's get into it. Alright, at number 10, we got Berserker. Alright, you know what? This level's kind of a mixed bag. I think some of the decorations kind of random and messy, but then there's some mind-blowing transitions that actually look insane. Like this part with this car turning around, it's like a 3D animation. Like, I do not know how the creator made all these frames. And this part with, like the hockey mask, man, it just looks crazy. Even though the quality is kind of inconsistent, there's just so many really cool things here and so many cool transitions. It makes me really 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 like this level and yeah as of the time of recording this audio this is not rated yet but i think it should get legendary it's just really creative and has so many cool things going on all right at number nine we got a legendary rated level bussin okay so this level is pretty much golden hope but instead it's about sigma edits it's so similar to golden hope as in it's such a goofy level but actually so well made i mean come on the cringe skeletons here look exactly like the meme and yeah it's just funny how a meme level is actually so well made this level is actually so good being so goofy at the same time and yeah it's already been rated legendary which i think is well deserved it's a pretty sigma level and i think it deserves the number nine spot all right at number eight we got a little bit of a less recent entry the incinerator this all is just awesome the decoration is awesome the boss fight is incredibly smooth and the song is a banger too well i would say it's a little bit messy some parts and kind of random the art in it is so good and yeah as i said before i gotta say it again this boss fight is just incredible this all also has fun gameplay that's a little bit confusing to learn at first but gets really consistent once you get it besides the last duel the last duel feels a tiny bit unfair but it's fine and Sovel also has a really cool story that i don't understand but i can tell that it has a very cool story the end screen is sick too overall it's a really good level and i'm glad that it got legendary and weekly demon because it definitely deserved it i think we'll definitely be seeing this one in the gauntlets all right at number seven we got summer gallery so this is actually the oldest one on this list and this one's also a legendary too so it's rob top approved this level is it's just beautiful it's got a cool little story and theme with the anime characters and it has really cool art in it too. It just feels like the type of thing you would just like see real life stuff around you and just imagine GD cubes to it and this is how it would be. And yeah, it's just really cool the way the creator implemented gameplay into just like real life objects. Also, the gameplay is very fair and sight readable too. These indicators make everything really easy. But yeah, it's a really neat level. My only nitpick is really that the first ship part doesn't look as good as the rest, but that's about it. Oh, I just think this part where the characters fade away, it looks kind of weird when they fade away, but that doesn't matter that much. That's like the only bad things I could say about this. This level is very, very neat. Definitely deserve the legendary got and it should be put in the gauntlet too all right at number six we got neo zenith okay this level just has some awesome effects and it just has really cool looking 3d decoration it might be like one of my favorite effect levels of all time it's just oh my gosh i love how 3d everything feels it's insane i mean look at the disco ball at the end like how did this creator even make that and also this part where you like play the wave like this i don't even know how to explain this but it's so cool it actually like blew me away the first time i watched it but i did hear that the game playing this level is really bad and i'm kind of afraid to try it honestly and it doesn't look too good too so i guess this level has really good deco but bad gameplay but i'm mostly really just judging my deco i don't care too much about the gameplay in this video anyways it got a legendary medium demon which is definitely deserved it's definitely legendary worthy in my opinion but i'm not sure if it'll make it in the gauntlet if the gameplay is really that bad i don't know if that would be good for the gauntlet but we'll see all right at number five we got sugar high by blue sky and more which is currently unrated okay this level is one of the rare levels that's so colorful full but looks so clean at the same time it's just wow this decoration style is so cool this candy and all this i just love it every creator did a great job here especially aquaware's part of the end that is definitely my favorite part i love this part so much but yeah this reminds me a lot of the astrala type art style but it's so cool when it's this colorful this isn't ready yet but i hope it definitely gets legendary when it does and maybe even a mythic but i would say it's high legendary as blue sky would always say this level is a banger all right at number four we got a level that i'd argue was robbed a mythic magistro Okay, this level just has a super awesome art style with really overdone parallax, which I absolutely love. There's just so much cool stuff going on, and it has great intensity, too. Not to mention this song is really a banger. <laughs> just there's so many cool transitions. This part at the drop is so good, and this part where the dragon chases after. I mean, the whole level is amazing, but these parts especially. It's just really a perfect level. Like, I don't know what else to say about it. Honestly, I would say this is, like, right between Legendary and Mythic. I don't really know what to say. It's definitely better than some of the current Mythics. So, yeah, I don't know. I would have not been surprised 
surprised if this got mythic. Well, it's definitely one of the best legendaries of all time. Anyways, yeah, this is better getting the gauntlets. Like, why would it not? <laughs> all right, at number three, we got the mythic level itself. Next cab soon. Wow, there's just a lot of awesome things about this level. First of all, the art style in it is super cool, and so many parts just look amazing. I really like this transition here, where just everything looks like so 3D, and this ship part that's just like 3D. Like, how is this even made? It's all just filled to the brim with so many cool transitions. It's actually hard to notice all of them. And I'm not even sure how you get the coin. You gotta collect like some collectibles in the level, and then you have to wait for the cab to pick you up. It's kind of complicated. But it's a really creative coin. Definitely not worth going for for me, but some people will definitely like that. The gameplay is pretty good too. I found it a little bit annoying, but it was still pretty good. It's just insane to me how GeoGamer hosted a Stralith and got Mythic, and then hosted this and got another Mythic. Like what? GeoGamer just knows how to host banger levels. But yeah, fantastic level, and I think it's Mythic was very well deserved. This level will pretty much definitely get in the gauntlet because it got Mythic and it's Rob Top approved, but I'm not sure if it'll win the gauntlet because in my opinion, there's two levels I like more than this. All right, at the number two spot, we got Own Display by El Model Swag. Okay, wow, this level is actually incredible. It has so many really, really cool 3D animations. I love this part with this TV screen and like millions of 3D cubes. Like the depth in this is actually insane and the lighting is so clean. Then there's this part where you like go into the TV and there's also this really 3D looking landscape. It's so nice. It's just so smooth the whole way through. It's such eye candy. And then this part where you are the robot on like the circle is so sick too. It's just I've never seen anything like this before and this level actually blew my mind the first time I watched it. Like I seriously think this is one of the best levels of all time. And it ended up getting legendary. In my opinion it should have been mythic but legendary is fair too. Might be the best legendary ever in my opinion though. One of the best at least. But yeah this better get in the gauntlet. Please put this in the gauntlet. Why would Rob Top not put it in the gauntlet? But there is just one more level that I think tops this. This level is actually just a masterpiece. And that is none other than metamorphosis. Okay this level it's actually just beautiful like how can gd deco be this realistic i do not know like the whole thing is just so incredible especially the start and especially the end i love those two parts the most it also matches the song really well too and yeah just the entire thing is perfect like i really don't know what else to say i don't know if i'd say this is my favorite level ever but it's definitely one of them and maybe even i don't know i have to think about that for a second it's just every creator who made a part in this is just goaded now the only little thing i don't like about this level is that this one part is a little bit unfitting where the blocks just look kind of normal but that's it everything else about this level is just too good i really hope this will get mythic because this definitely deserves it but yeah i love this level i think it's perfect everything about it is great and this better make it into the gauntlet and this should definitely get mythic if this got mythic this would probably be my personal favorite mythic actually but yeah metamorphosis is just an amazing level all right well those are my 10 favorite ncs gauntlet entries and i hope those ones will win it's just crazy how we've been getting daily legendaries and first there was the wabu stereo madness contest which sparked some of the best levels of all time and then now we got some of the best levels of all time from the NCS gauntlet contest like oh my god GD Deco is definitely the best it's ever been by far right now and I wonder if it's gonna come down a little bit since there's no contest going on but we'll see but yeah the community has never blown me away this much before love to see all the amazing levels and I'm really hyped to see what the winners will be if I remember correctly Roftop will be showing that tomorrow which by the time you're seeing this video that might have already been shown but yeah I'm very excited to see that also like every video I make this will probably get outdated really fast like metamorphosis isn't even rated yet. Robtop was probably saving that mythic for like tomorrow or something. So yeah, I'll keep a bit of an update on my opinions of what goes on in the pinned comment because I can't wait to see what some of these levels that aren't even rated yet will get rated. But yeah, thank you very much for watching. I got a playlist of a bunch of other videos very similar to this right here. Here's some other cool videos I have that you might enjoy. Thank you very much for watching and have a good one.